Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kagem. So, today is kind of a different day. I'm actually about to go to the furniture store. It is so freaking hot, you guys. Like, I'm going to show you how hot it looks. Um, this is kind of different for me. I pref I love shopping vlogs, whether they're high street or luxury. Um, I love interiors and furniture, but like on Pinterest. So I don't know if this is going to work. So if you're watching this, it means that the vlog has been successful. Um, so I'm just going to go there to look at some office furniture to get some ideas. Let's see if they let me film. It is freaking hot. That is why I'm wearing these sunglasses. That is so hot. You can see I'm even like squinting. It's so hot. Um, so yeah, these sunglasses are from Mr. Price. These earrings are from Aldo. These are my favorite earrings. I love them so much. Um, so yeah, we're going to go there and see if we're successful. And I don't know. This is so different for me. I've never done like an interiors or office furniture vlog so I might just add this into like a sort of other shopping vlog so that it's interesting for you if you like this kind of thing let me know I need to go there to see um what's new basically for offices for tables and things like that I want to kind of do a refurb at my office I have five employees so I want to make things um more like comfortable for them and very like inspiring so that when they're working they feel good about themselves so this is the store, it's in Mikocheni, it's called GSM. I really like these fake flowers. I think that they look could look really nice in the office or in the reception area when I do my refurb. I know many people don't like fake flowers, but I like fake flowers. This store is really nice, but the problem is just the incessant following inside the store itself. It actually gets quite uncomfortable after a while and you do feel quite self-conscious when you're walking around looking at the furniture. In general, I really liked what I saw at the GSM boutique in Mikocheni. That's the name of the neighborhood where the boutique is. It's not really a boutique, I guess it's a furniture store. But I guess I, my issues is while the stock is nice, the inventory is nice, they've got some really nice dining sets in there. Their office um, stuff is really, really good. But there were just so many of the employees hovering around. So I was struggling to shoot the tables, but I've seen some nice chairs that I put my name down for, and I've seen some nice boardroom chairs as well for my office boardroom, and I'm trying to refurb my meeting room as well. So in general, hey guys, <laughs> if you're this far into the vlog, it means that my furniture <laughs> vlog was successful. So I wanted to do an unboxing instead of making a separate video. Um, and basically my husband got me this perfume that I'm about to show you. Um, but after, make sure you watch till the end though, because I'm going to do this unboxing and then I want to talk about my experience in more detail at the furniture store today because I have a few comments and then just kind of the general direction and vibe of this channel. So without further ado, here is a gift that my husband got me, which is this really beautiful, uh, whoa, sorry, it just got super dark right there, which is this really beautiful perfume from, uh, Beyonce. It's called Heat Rush. And I don't know if you can see it that well. Again, very dark, sorry. And yeah, it's so cute. So yeah, let's do the unboxing. Just opening it here. Just did my nails, so I don't wanna wreck my nails while unboxing this. Okay, there we go. I feel like with, um, with perfumes like celebrity fragrances, I feel like they can People, many people I think think that they're really naff and I can see why people find them quite naff to be honest but this perfume isn't naff and there's nothing about it that is naff there we go look at that and honestly it does not do it any justice it is so beautiful and it's really really nice I've had this before at uni her perfumes are quite old I mean she's had them for a few years they haven't been updated in some time there's like a B there, that's her logo. I think that was like her old insignia for one of her old tours. And they haven't been updated in some time. Um, I'm wondering whether it's something that she'll still do. As far as I know, Coty is the 
like manufacturer of these perfumes. And as far as I know, she's still in contract with them and they sold very well. Her perfume line is the number one celebrity selling perfume of all time and the fastest selling celebrity perfume of all time. And she is like my favorite artist, but that isn't generally why um, I love this perfume. I've actually had this before and I'm amazed that my husband remembered its name because I had the original Heat. I got this one, Heat Rush. And then I also had Pulse, which isn't a favorite of mine, but I was like, whatever, I'm supporting her. So yeah, this is it. It, it just, it looks more bronzy and yellowy, like in real life when you're looking at it with the light, but it's kind of coming across red. Um, so I'll just like open it here. So that's how, that's how it opens. You can hear that sound. It's nice and heavy. It has this kind of retro perfume look. And yeah, let me just spray it one time. Um, I haven't smelt this in years, but I remember the scent and how it made me feel. And, oh my gosh, yeah. This perfume, this is how this perfume, like, smells, basically. This perfume is the definition of a beach holiday perfume. It has such a fresh, like, beachy, tropical, you know, like the, the breezes coming from the sea when you're on holiday? Like it has that kind of scent and it's it's perfect if you like those like airy, breezy kind of scents. It doesn't it doesn't have like a fresh laundry smell. It has a very like floral, tropical, breezy smell. The best way I can think of it is like you're on the beach sipping Mai Tais as you're watching the sun set. It's very sultry and tropical and yeah, I love it. I think it's just gorgeous and I absolutely would recommend this. And my husband always laughs at me because he's always like, you love Beyonce, you think everything she does is amazing. I'm like, everything she does is amazing and I'm not unboxing this because Black is King came out last, last Friday. I don't love every single thing. I didn't like Pulse. I was like, that's one perfume from her I didn't like, but this one is, is, is phenomenal. Like it's really, really, really nice. I'm very curious whether she's going to continue making, going with Coty for making these perfumes. These perfumes have become very successful. Or is she gonna like buy back the perfume licenses like Kim did? By the way, that Kim Kardashian, I think it's called the Love Perfume, the one from like, I think 10 years ago. Where is that perfume? That was a good perfume. I'm not too crazy about the perfumes I'm seeing right now from her. I'm not really sure what's going on with her. If anyone likes their KKW perfumes, tell me which one is nice because I just love it. Anyway, this perfume, oh my gosh, it just smells really, really good. I love the scent and it's very fresh and it's very crisp smelling and yeah, love it. Beautiful and there we go. Oh, that's much better. So you can see it says Beyonce there. Hold on, I think, is that turned the other way around? Oh, I don't remember. Here it says heat and then it says Beyonce. And you can see it's just, yeah, it's gorgeous. I love this thing. The original Heat Rush had a very like Middle Eastern kind of scent. It was a very heavy, very Middle Eastern, which was really nice, but it's very heavy. And the original Heat, to me, seemed like an evening fragrance, not one that you wear during the day. This one, I think, has a really nice like day to night feel. You can definitely wear this during the day, and I'm going to be wearing this as my daily now. Um, but you can also um, wear it at night, and it's definitely a good date night fragrance. Oh wow, it just smells so good. I love it. It smells so fresh and, and good. It's a very it's a very tropical, breezy and fresh fragrance and it feels very beachy and tropical. So yeah, absolutely love it. So yeah, there we go. That is Heat Rush and that is my unboxing. Now, I want to talk about my experience today at the furniture store. Um, I literally have come from work, obviously, so I'm still even wearing like my work shirt and stuff and I have like my earrings in still. So my experience uh, was like, obviously I was going there to look at decor stuff, but I was mainly going to look at office stuff. And literally they're on your back in there. I mean, they're just constantly following you in there and they were just following me the whole time in the, in the store. And unfortunately, even though I live in Tanzania, which is an African country, like in a way I'm followed so much with so much intent here in boutiques. And this isn't just me. This is like everyone who looks like me in Tanzania. Everyone has said, oh, how just it's, it, you're followed so hard and it's used in the guise of like customer service, but you know, they're following you <laughs> to make sure that you don't steal anything. And it's just over the top. At one point 
I told the young lady, I was like, you know what, I'm just having a look on my own, so don't worry about me, you don't need to follow me, like, if I want any help, I'll ask you and I'll tell you myself. And she just kept following me, sometimes she'd like disappear around the corner if I'm looking at a table, and then she'd like follow me again, and then she'd go here and then she'd follow me. And then one time I was just looking, I was, that's why it was so hard to vlog in there, and then at one point I was like, hey babe, like, please stop following me, like, I'm fine and I'm not going to take anything and I just want to look. I understand, I used to have my own boutique as well, so I completely understand that you don't, like, want people to steal, but I think it's just overkill, like, in that, like, who realistically is picking up a table, putting it in their handbag and leaving? So, okay, no one is doing that in a furniture store. Anyway, so it was a bit <laughs> over the top. I'm so curious, like, though, did you enjoy the furniture vlog? Do you like vlogs with unboxings together? Do you like that? Um, what's your vibe? Did you Do you like seeing vlogs that are like more connected to my business when I'm shopping for my business? Is that something you're interested in? Or do you wanna see just the luxury shopping vlogs and the high street shopping vlogs? What is something that you're interested in? Give me your feedback. I can take criticism, so don't worry. Just let me know what you think. If you enjoyed the shopping vlog and this unboxing, please make sure you subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications. <laughs> My husband always laughs at me. He says like, like people on YouTube are constantly begging for subs, constantly begging for people to hit that bell. And he's like, I'm not hitting the bell. <laughs> but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you sub and hit that bell. <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video on Thursday. Thank you for watching.